What are you doing? <laughs> Alright, so for breakfast, we got these onion rings and we're gonna try uh, cracking an egg in them. So for the eggs, Ryan suggests scrambling them first, so that's what we're doing. Adding in our green onions, our mushroom mix. Alright, so here's a little breakfast. Ryan has a an egg log. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Look how good this egg turned out. Wow. All right, so now that we're fed, we're ready to get on with the main objective of this vlog, which is to do some vintage thrifting. Now, when it comes to sustainable fashion, you know, it's an unregulated term. A lot of big companies use it to greenwash their advertising and marketing. But I think the top two things you can do is A, not purchase anything, B, buy secondhand. And then from there, you take into consideration ethical sourcing, natural fibers, the longevity of the product, the style, and how timeless something is. So hopefully today we find some good stuff. A couple things I'm personally looking for is a belt, like a classic black or brown belt, as well as a nice pair of pants, and maybe some denim, maybe some jorts. Those, those two are maybes, but a nice pair of pants and some belts. What are some of the things you're looking for today? Uh, maybe a couple of shirts I can wear to work. Yeah, or like something. graphic tees or? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Or like, um, maybe another pair of baggy pants. What are you How about for? you, buddy? How about you? Oh. Also, check out the new addition to the living room. Oh my goodness, this tree. This is a ficus aubrey. Just look at these leaves, the shape, the color, everything about it. I mean, come on, and how it goes around the TV, like. Thrifting fit check, thrifting fit check. A couple of Gen Z kids with their wide-legged pants and tote bag. These fresh kicks. And look at this guy. Oh my god. Let's go. Next up, we're checking out this tea shop for hopefully a matcha set. <laughs> Unfortunately, they only have the matcha, not the actual like whisk and set. I'm personally fine using like my electronic milk frother. It's a lot easier, but Ryan, I like things the traditional way. Wow, okay, okay. All right, back to our usual spot, Gore Street Vintage. Absolute nice. chonksters. Alberta. I love it. <laughs> also, it's like glittery. Kind of sparkly. <laughs> I kind of like it. Yeah, it's cute. Long go, buddy. Wow. I'm gonna patchwork on that. Gore Street Vintage, folks. Ryan always walks out with something. Thank you. If you guys are looking for planters, look, they got so many. It goes all the way down over here. Oh my god, look how big these ones are. Hi, Jasper Dog. Ryan's gonna go hide. Oh, hi, buddy. Hello, hello. Where's Ryan? Where's Ryan? Where's Ryan? Where is he? Hi. There he is. <laughs> oh. Hi, buddy. Now that we're back from thrifting, you already know we gotta give you a fashion show. Hmm. First up, we got these five little ones. Little wall. Look at the butt. That butt is nice. Wow, look at this guy. 
This was my find, but it was too big for me. I need a shirt. <laughs> it's like big dogs. Big dogs. <laughs> Even a little Jasper here, like a little white and black dog. I also got another pair of pants. Show them. Okay, bye. <laughs> so next up, we're gonna head to a group workout class with our friends who also live in the building. It's mostly a conditioning heavy class. There's an upper body and a lower body portion. But what I like about this class is that the treadmill portion uses like the sled and parachute function and you're not running because I'm not a big fan of running. Although I have been thinking of giving running another shot. Um, maybe getting some better shoes or like, I don't know, but we'll see, we'll see. Free workout blueberries. Ah, $5. For this whole thing? Mm -hmm. That's pretty solid. We should go get another couple. Yeah, and then we should freeze it. For some additional energy, you can make myself my matcha tonic. And then I used the Fever Tree Light Tonic. By far, this has been my go-to summer drink. It's so refreshing. If you love matcha, you need to try this. Mm. Anyways, let's go do this workout. Yeah. Okay. Why would you assume that? <laughs> they're trying to save you? Yeah, they're trying to That was a tough workout. Hello, puppy. Oh my god, look how good this tree looks. Holy shit. Hi. 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 Come here. Come here. Alright, I think that's pretty much it for today. We desperately need to hop in the shower. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning folks, so we're gonna be starting off with a nice little get ready with me If you're interested in any of the products, they're gonna be linked below I already have my sunscreen on which is why I'm looking nice and glowy um, But yeah after yesterday uh, the workout we were exhausted There's gotta be something about thrifting that just I don't know Maybe it's cuz you're like constantly looking for things um, But it just it drains you. you know you got to be prepared for it Plus some of the stores were so hot yesterday like the weather in Vancouver is very hit or miss uh, Some summer days are you know rainy and gloomy and Sometimes there's a massive heat wave today. We will be continuing our thrifting adventures We're gonna go to the main street area pretty much in our old neighborhood um, yesterday we were in Chinatown and there's so many good stores in Chinatown But today my main focus is gonna be finding a belt or maybe a couple belts um, Just like a nice basic simple I don't know brown and black belt I feel like it shouldn't be too hard to find a lot of them have like, you know gold or like brass hardware I just want a nice Basic belt. Also, big shout out to everyone that supported the last Less Shitty Restock. I feel like the first drop is always just a massive learning curve. Um, and, you know, do I still have everything figured out? Absolutely not. Will I ever? Probably not. But honestly, I am so, so excited for drop two because I feel like, you know, drop one, the main thing was just the shirt. And the shirt was a black, you know, shirt, yes, sustainable fabrics, whatever. But my personal favorite kind of silhouette is like a big boxy sweater for the top and short shorts uh, on the bottom. Um, and that's exactly what drop two is gonna be. Like an oversized boxy sweater with the cotton shorts that you saw on the previous vlog. I'm very excited for it because I feel like that is really going to, you know, establish the line as an actual line and not just a singular product. And like I mentioned before, the sweaters for drop two are actually gonna be manufactured here in Vancouver. I'm excited that I'm able to at least do some stuff locally. Um, the reality is that, you know, the technology and the skilled labor abroad is a lot more refined. Because I'm focusing on small batch production, the quality is gonna be 
top tier. I'm just gonna say that, okay? So Ryan is currently at the home gym. He's getting a quick pump on. He's actually been very consistent, so I'm very proud of him. Look at this sleepy loaf. You want some tummy rubs? You want some tummy rubs, buddy? Come on, come on. <laughs> also, it's almost Jasper's birthday, so everybody say, actually, give this video a thumbs up because it's almost Jasper's birthday. Come on. How was your workout? It was really good. What did you do? I did shoulders and wow. chest wow. and triceps. Nice, but do you have to wear this freaking hat? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Alright, so here's the first stop for today, Mintage Mall. Yeah, it looks a little small. Any just basic belts? Forgot this is the denim room. Wow. Oliver Tree. Found some more belts. Yeah, the sizes are kind of... Hello! Hi! Oh. Here, baby. Yeah! Alright, so we got the mango salad, as well as the butter garlic chicken wings to start. Gonna be able to go. The salad. Mains, we got the beef short rib as well as the vermicelli bowl. Alright folks, so I'm gonna call it here for the vlog. Unfortunately, we did not get to find a belt. However, we did get to visit our old neighborhood and we had some very delicious Vietnamese food at Anh and Chi. As always, thank you guys for watching and remember to be less shit. Alright, what else should they remember? Remember to drink oat milk instead of dairy milk or if you have coconut milk available or almond milk or, or any really other no maybe not almond almonds use a lot of water you anyways use use a, a non-dairy alternative when having coffee so that you're not contributing to the dairy industry which is problematic let's go